everyone and good afternoon. I'm Grace White here on the Channel 11 Newsroom along with Crime Stoppers CEO Rania Mankarios. Thank you so much, Rania, for being with us to discuss this cold case that we're hoping you at home can help us solve. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. This is the 2004 murder of Russell Allen. And as we're talking this afternoon, we want you to know there is a $55 thousand dollar reward in this case he was a beloved father and mm -hmm. husband and we're going to be showing you some pictures and if you remember this case you know something we want to hear from you 713-222-TIPS is the crime stoppers number and again fifty five thousand dollars Rania how rare is that to have such a a large reward on a cold case it's not very common. I mean, we'll see it once or maybe twice a year, but it just goes to the heart of this case. This was a beloved man, business owner, father, and the community is outraged that just during the normal course of business, he faced something so horrific. So we are working hand in hand with law enforcement, hand in hand with the community, with his family to make sure that justice is served no matter, no matter how many years have passed. Because for us, Time is always running. We always want to bring justice for the sake of the family. And I think it's fascinating that this this reward was was posted years ago, yes. and it's still good. I remember calling you months ago and asking, yes. you know, this sounds like a, a large amount, fifty-five thousand dollars. Is it still good? And it's, it is. It's, it sits there in in an escrow account for this case. It's not used for anything else. It is dedicated to this. It will be there until this case is solved. One thing we also want to show you is surveillance footage from the scene of the crime. This is something that police have had for years. We've recently met with Houston Police's cold case unit and been able to kind of work with them to, to put these new images out. They have images of the suspect arriving on a motorcycle yes. moments before this all happened. So hopefully you can see that on your screen. It's kind of spotlighted there. And the type of motorcycle he was riding was very distinctive. It was a Suzuki. It was blue and white with white rims. Uh, Rania, a lot of details here that we're able to share with people. We don't always get this. I mean, it's huge, the power of surveillance video, and you can't say enough about it. I mean, someone's got to know something about that specific motorcycle. There's there's also a vehicle that makes the way, its way through the frame, and law enforcement saying was sort of leaving in a very suspicious manner in the way it kind of peeled out. We think it's a, a light gray, maybe white um, a, a car, and you can see it there speeding across. These are new clues. These are new clues that we hope will, s will trigger somebody's memory, will make them think, you know what, that looks awfully familiar, or that looks like somebody I know, or somebody's car at the time. No, no tip is too small. No piece of information is too small. So if it triggers something, call Crime Stoppers today. You're always anonymous. We never, ever know who you are. Um, we're you know nearly 40 years old, 40 years of doing this day in, day out. We protect the, the tipsters. We never know who you are. You are always anonymous. Call with information on that, that motorcycle, on that vehicle, on anything you might know, um, because that surveillance video is pretty pretty substantive. Yeah, it's fascinating. And we want to let you know where this happened. It actually happened not far from where, where we're we sitting right, right now. now. Our studios are in the Galleria area in southwest Houston, and Russell Allen was murdered at 59 right near Bering. Mm -hmm. So he had this motorcycle dealership his family had had for years. And then just two doors down, he had this insurance business. Yes. So oftentimes the family says that people would buy a motorcycle and then walk a few doors down and, and buy insurance Get from their him. insurance, yes. Yeah, and that's where he was every day. He loved being a small business owner, loved motorcycles. His family said he built motorcycles. He had a race team back in the 70s. And this is a man that was living his dream, that was doing what he was passionate about and sharing that with the community. And and that's what Houston's about. We're a city of people that come here and, and build their businesses and contribute to the community just like he was doing. And for him to have been shot and, and robbed and killed so horrifically for his watch, which was more than a material item, it was a wedding gift. Um, you know, we come together in cases like this and we say, you know what, absolutely not. Not in Houston, not in our city. We care, we're going to continue to care. Um, this story isn't just gonna pass, we're gonna continue to invest our time in it and work with the community to see what information you have. And remember, no tip is too small. Call Crime Stoppers today, a $55,000 reward. We don't see that that often, and we are we are applying it here because it means that much to the community, to all of us. Yeah, we wanna talk some more about that watch you mentioned, yes. Rania. So years ago, um, Houston police from the beginning thought, okay, this guy may have been targeted for his Rolex mm -hmm. watch that he was wearing. It was the only 
only thing stolen from the scene of the crime. Well, all these years later, 15 years yes. later, we're now talking to the family and getting these new details about how special that watch yes. was. Yes. As you mentioned, a wedding, wedding present, present from his wife. With a beautiful inscription, I'll, I, um, I, I'll love you as long as I live and I'll live as long as I love you. Yeah, and that's so unique and that we believe is still on this watch wherever it is today, engraved there just on the back. You know, it's such an important point because, you know, we have to remember that criminal activity takes place um, at, a, at a point in time and in a, in a certain piece of our city or in, and impacts a victim's life so horrifically. But pieces of it live on. I mean, this is evidence that mm. lives on. That surveillance video lives on. Um, people will remember that that Rolex is is going to wind up in some at a pawn shop or in some, maybe in somebody's arm right now who may not even realize this may have been handed down through several people Absolutely. may not even realize that it's connected to this father's murder and that's what you know to see a beautiful inscription in the back and say geez that's so beautiful but now we're, we're explaining that this is what it's tied to and there are a lot of community partners and different groups involved in this so we will get to <coughs> answer eventually who's behind this murder Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you. If you have questions for Rania about Crime Stoppers, how those tips work, if you have questions about this case, chime in. We'll see if we can address them here during the live stream, Chloe, if you see any. And if not, uh, we'll go back and answer them later to make yeah. sure we get your questions answered because by being engaged in these cases and paying attention, we can, we can solve them. Absolutely. And, and another thing we'll bring out is if you know something, it doesn't matter where you are right now. It doesn't matter where the suspect, the alleged suspect is right now. There is no end to the reach of Crime Stoppers. We work with law enforcement in Houston and Harris County, across the state of Texas, across this country. So tipsters can be calling in from all over, um, and the suspect can really frankly be anywhere. We will work with law enforcement in the designated area to bring this person to justice. So if you know something, don't think, well, you know, it's, it's a long time ago, or the suspect's now in New York, or Canada, it doesn't matter. Still call Crime Stoppers with that information. And that's such a great message because a lot of people, you know, follow these cold cases, especially online. Yes. And people may be watching from outside Houston, outside Texas, Absolutely. and you don't have to be a resident of Houston, Texas no. to claim this reward, to call on this case, to chime in with something you remember about that motorcycle, again, a Suzuki blue and white with white rims seen in that surveillance footage, or this Rolex watch that we believe is still out there in someone hands with a special quote engraved on the back a wedding present from Russell Allen's wife again this happened in 2004 and Rania I know that you all work with families like this over years yes. in fact this family remembers Kim Og who's now our district attorney yes. they remember her work on this case when she held your position years ago and we're we're proud to serve that role you know we'll hold the hands of a victim we'll walk them through this this process and as Andy Kahn always says they're they're the only people that didn't ask to be part of this process but when they find themselves there we will hold their hands we'll walk through with them we will do whatever we can through the, the power of crime solvers through our immediate partners through working with our law enforcement partners our DA um, to bring justice and, and pull together community resources to do just that because no one no matter where, no matter when, no matter who deserves to be a victim of this, of any type of crime, but especially something like this. Yeah, and we did, uh, we should mention we got a statement from the district attorney, Kim Og, mm -hmm. that we'll be sharing on our website later today. So she is still following this case all these years later as well. That's the unique thing about it. I mean, cases touch our hearts. They don't leave us. We work, w we work with law enforcement, as I said. We work through the, ju the judicial system. There's no statute of limitations here. We're going to keep mm going um, until this case is solved we we don't get tired you know our partners don't get tired so we're we're proud and and and, and determined to keep working on this case and one thing that was encouraging to me as a reporter so this story aired last Thursday night here on channel 11 in Houston we got a call minutes after it aired from yes. a woman from a viewer who actually works in the watch industry she worked f she works as the store director for the Rolex boutique with Deutsch and Deutsch in the Houston Galleria and she said hey I want to help can Isn't you come by tomorrow it was amazing so we went by and actually did a follow-up story I'll share the link with you uh, so you can watch it at home if you haven't seen it but she was able to run that serial number that we have through their national database mm -hmm. and tell us that you know the, the watch has never been serviced at a specific Rolex boutique of course it could have been serviced at a off-market place um, but she was so willing to help and so willing to flag the watch in their system so now that if it does ever get serviced if it's ever brought in 
uh, they would immediately know. And again, that's a worldwide database because the watch could so be anywhere. Much. The watch could be anywhere, but I love that so much. Again, the power of the partnerships, the power of not giving up. This woman who responded, incredible, incredible, incredible. Thank you for that. And now that watch is tagged forevermore. So you bring it into a, a Rolex dealership, it is going to be an alert on a system that this watch is wanted in a very, very, very high profile case here in Houston, the Harris County area. So we're so thankful to you to this viewer that chimed in, and um, that's a very important development in this case. And as we close out here, we, again, we want to remind you that number 713-222-TIPS, $55,000. Rania, can you call any time, day or night? Uh, you can. You can call 24 <laughs> hours a day, seven days a week. You can submit tips through our website, crime-stoppers.org. You can download our, our mobile app, which is free and available in 22 languages. So we have tried to make it as easy as possible for you to submit information. And, again, and you get tips every day. I mean, you are solving cases through day, tips that come from home. Day. Yes, yeah. it, you are the most important. The tipster is one of the most important pieces of this process. So um, please call, please call. No, no piece of information is too small. Share it with us. We want to solve this case on behalf of the family. Yeah, and I know, Ronnie, you said you've been talking to a lot of people about crime in Houston, and, and this is our community. This you know, is our the community. people, yes, our watch was stolen, but this was Mr. Allen's community as much as it is all of our communities. Absolutely. We want to have our businesses here, our homes here, send our kids to school here, invest here, you know, yeah. retire here. This is our community. We want it to be as safe as possible. All right, Rania Mancarios from Crime Stoppers, thank you so much thank for your you. time you. and for your dedication to this case. Uh, we hope to hear from you again, $55,000 reward for the 2004 murder of Russell Allen. Let us know if you can help.